Hey YouTube, my name is Julian Yates, and in this video I'm going to show you my server room tour. This is the server room that I built in Richmond, Virginia about a year ago. The purpose for this room was uh, to be a lab of sorts where I can test, learn, uh, test and learn new technologies, uh, software, hardware, um, and uh, I also host a couple things for uh, companies, websites, um, clouds, whatever people need. So let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back. Before we get started with my server room tour, I wanted to give you a quick overview of the network topology. So let's get started. The server room has three internet connections, um, two FIOS and one L3. The first Verizon FIOS connection is 150 megs down by 65 megs up, has 127 IP addresses, and is the primary connection for the server room. The second is, uh, is also Verizon FIOS, has 150, 150 megs down by 65 megs up has five IP addresses and is dedicated for a customer that's that's running colo equipment within the server room. And last is an L3 connection which is 200 megs down and 200 megs up has 254 IP addresses. Uh, from the DMARC to the server room I have a point-to-point -point tunnel that I created and routed 127 IP addresses. This connection is used as a backup connection only in case the primary goes down. All three internet connections feed into two Microtik router board 1200 series. Each, uh, each of the router boards are configured in a bridge mode, uh, which allows me to segregate um, and isolate the different um, public um, connections um, for each of the different customers. Uh, I also run different firewalls based on the customer's requirements. All internet um, is delivered to a Netgear GSM7248 uh, managed switch. This is a gigabit switch, uh, 48 ports, um, and feeds into all of the various different um, things that we host. Uh, we host a virtual, uh, virtual network and various other customer segments. So let's get started. First up on our tour is the Verizon Fios ONT. This is the handoff from fiber to ethernet. From the ONT, the ethernet cables run into the server room. Okay, next up are the Microtik router boards, uh, 1200 series. Uh, these two router boards handle the three internet connections that come into this room. Um, the blue cables are the actual internet connections, while the yellow cables are the patch cables. Um, the last two for each of these switches, I think it's ETH10, are the uh, two cables used for management. Uh, you can't get into these routers, um, but through the management network. Next on the list is the Microtik router board uh, 493. I use this router board as a point-to-point -point tunnel for the L3 connection. Uh, I bring it in from another building and I use this to basically manage that connection. It gets dropped in on the second uh, 1200 router board. And next up is our public switch. That's a Netgear um, GSM7248. It's a 48 port gigabit switch that I use as the public network. Basically all the different customer segments are connected directly into this switch. 
Next up on our list is our Microtik router board 1200. This is the cloud router or the router that we use to provide internet access to all the internal clouds um, and the management network for this server room. Next up is our Cisco switch. This Cisco switch is used to manage the internal network and provide connectivity to the virtual infrastructure. And a lot of the customer segregation is done through the switch. Okay, next on our list are two Dell PowerEdge T410s. On your screen, you should see the description and some of the specs and details for these servers. Last on our list is our Dell PowerEdge T710. On your screen, you should see the description and the basic configuration. So this concludes my server room tour. I did not show you guys everything in this room just because um, we are actually in the process of migrating this server room uh, to another location. So we will be showing another video sort of like this once this uh, server room has been fully moved and migrated. There probably will be several videos that um, I'll do in the interim. Um, I know the next video I plan to do will be some sort of time lapse uh, of me breaking down some of this equipment. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe and if you like this video, please like this video.